Whatever you're making, I have something to help. Doing okay? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. I know you like looking for the advantage, but we need to earn their trust first. Don't bargain too hard. You're the boss. Helping the Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Imagine seeing a Krogan for the first time? Maybe if I smile more, show my teeth. Something tells me that won't help. Real change in tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful, half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Korra for some reason. Technically, I was still in one piece. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. <laughs> Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweights. <laughs> Whoa. Steady now? That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. That's awfully understanding of you, Ryder. You're a good egg. 
think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Ryder. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for Asari commando training. We're the aliens. For some Angara, we're the only humans they'll ever we're see. Again, That's everyone. huge. Whatever Same happens, around, we'll make a better show than the cat. Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Hey, selling an alien weapons would make me nervous, too. I don't do this for Ephra. I respect the Moshai. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears, there's nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. I'll get moving. Ishari. The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that. You didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the cat. What can I do for you? So what do you do for fun around here? The Tavatan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. 
You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. TB said she wanted to talk to you. You talking to writer shit you shouldn't sneak up on someone like that I'm just talking to myself don't tell me you never do that you seem stressed no kidding I'm not built for this kind of homesteading don't like people knowing where I am where my stuff is Ugh! what's your usual solution Usually, I cut bait. Scram, strike out on my own. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. You're willing to share? I won't cramp your style? Let's find out. All right, I'm in. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? 
There's something else that would relax me. What's that? You haven't taken the bait yet, but I'm not afraid of rejection. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. I don't think so, PB. That's fine. Say no more. I hope this is enough. Hey, don't you know what say no more means? Really, I mean it. No explanation necessary. Just thank you for this. Why can't you just ask her yourself? Because. Because? Just because. Fine. Lexi, PB wants to look at jaw scans. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. Oh, useless. I thought I hated the Kep before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight.
near here. She's our best lead to finding Aksu. Cat! Protect Soldier! I just want to help. Your wounds, they're self-inflicted? The cat. I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Hush now, sister. The cat are dead. They can't take you. We won't let them. You sound like him. So confident. So sure. You mean Axel? He saved me, gave me a chance to live, and die on my own terms. We need to find him, Thordia. <sighs> Ishare, brave one. Even in the end, she was devoted to him. And Axul's using that devotion to spread hate. The only other person who could reach him is the Moshai. <sighs> I was hoping to keep her out of this. She's always had a blind spot when it comes to Axul. Come on, let's go. Gil's been asking if you can come by.
What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Get us there, and we'll save you a place in line. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll have kids? Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. Took you this long to figure that out? I told you, I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. So, you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. I mean, you know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. 